In today's Your Healthy Family, we're talking about something many Americans do, and even kids live life with epilepsy. In Caden Ford's case, we introduced you to Caden yesterday. When he was in the first grade, he began telling his parents he was blacking out. The best way to describe him is just to black out for 10 seconds. It feels like you've skipped time for 10 seconds. Um, next thing you know, your life is 10 seconds in the future. Caden's parents knew something was wrong, but couldn't figure out exactly what. There were three instances that really alarmed us. One was when he was riding his bike and my husband was following right behind him and he kind of swerved off the side of the road and crashed. Um, and then another time was when he was bowling and he just kept walking out into the bowling alley and didn't ever throw the ball and then he stopped halfway down and was terrified. He was, he was really afraid because he didn't know how he got there. And then the last time was um, when my husband Russ actually saw his, saw his face when he blacked out and could see his eyes and how they kind of fixed a little bit. Dr. Kathleen Curry says Caden's form of epilepsy is called absence epilepsy and doesn't come with full-blown seizures. It comes with other types of epilepsy. A lot of times kids with his type of epilepsy don't even know they're having seizures. The only people who notice it are the family or school teachers and then they get blamed for not paying attention and then their schoolwork falls off because if you're checking out in the middle of when a teacher's explaining something to you, you're missing part of the story, nothing makes sense, and you don't know that. So um, one of my favorite stories, I had a little five-year-old girl who was playing a violin and she was practicing. She stopped right where she was doing for a few seconds, picked right back up where she left off, and she had a little seizure and put her on the appropriate med, she was fine. The tricky part of recognizing this form of epilepsy is that its symptoms can easily be confused with some pretty normal behavior for kids. They're born knowing how to ignore us. Mm -hmm. right. They do a real fine job. What parents can do to determine is if they can interrupt the staring spells. That's not a seizure. That's just a behavior. They're just zoning out. They're playing you. They're doing whatever. But kids are really good at ignoring you when you call their name. So you have to get in their face, tickle them, sprinkle water on them, something. And if there's the slightest acknowledgement of your presence, that is probably not a seizure. Seizures, like Cadence, he's right back to where he's at. So there's not much of a recovery period. If you have a, a grand mal or generalized tonic-clonic seizure, it takes a while to, re I say, reset your brain. And that can take sometimes several minutes, several hours, and it depends often how long the seizure lasts, how long the recovery period is. So that's why people can be disoriented after seizures and confused and very sleepy. In Caden's case, the right medication quickly returned him to a normal, active life and a bright future. I have to take two pills in the morning and two pills at night. Dr. Curry says many kids outgrow their epilepsy and in time no longer need medication. Others may need to stay on medication to control the condition. And in most cases, either way, they're free to live their lives with few limitations. There's not much you can't do, even if you have epilepsy. Can't be an astronaut, probably can't be a test pilot, can't be a long haul trucker, pretty much anything else. There are a lot of physicians, there are lawyers, there are athletes. Epilepsy hasn't slowed Caden down. He finished sixth in his age group at this year's national drive chip and putt competition at Augusta National. Just qualifying for this prestigious event. And what a personality this young man has. Had a chance to talk with him last night. Huge smile on his face all the time. Is an accomplishment the whole family is taking pride in. We are beyond proud and super excited. Russ has been teasing Caden for three years that he was our ticket to Augusta because he's up, he's been trying to get into the, you know, he does the lottery to go to Augusta every year. He's never been able to get it. Um, so he's been teasing Caden and no pressure, but you're our ticket to Augusta. Of course, just teasing him about it. So to actually have the opportunity to go and to have Caden compete there is an incredible opportunity. And we're still, it's still pretty surreal. And with the construction of the new children's hospital here in Colorado Springs, diagnosing and treating most cases of epilepsy in kids will be able to happen without the drive to Denver. So we're in our new hospital building a uh, epilepsy monitoring unit, which I am really excited about, which will be 
it will be able to admit a lot of kids and just determine, capture their spells, determine what they are, determine the appropriate treatment. If they're seizure, okay, we know what we, are, we should be doing. If they're not seizure, then we can kind of say, look, this is not what you should worry about, and families can get on down the road. For your healthy family, I'm Ira Cronin. For more health stories, head to yourhealthyfamily.com.